Unusual phenomena, UFOs. Anyone who mentally ventures beyond earthly spheres will also be influenced by forces of the beyond, for he is constantly surrounded by such forces. But this influence is of a spiritual nature, because contact between this world and the world of the beyond gets established through the human being's will. However, you humans must differentiate between establishing contact with me through prayer, and contact with the spiritual world due to your will to gain knowledge from these spiritual powers, thus opening yourselves up to the influence of this spiritual world. No such established contact will remain unused, irrespective of whether I myself or spiritual forces react to it, because the initiated connections from earth to the spiritual world are extremely important for the development of the human being's soul. For the effectively spiritually blind human being shall acquire spiritual vision, and his spiritual eyes can only be opened through an inflow of light which either flows to the human being from me directly or also through the spiritual beings of light. Hence, any link from earth to the spiritual world is welcomed by the beings of light who are aware of people's state of darkness on earth and would very gladly like to give them light in accordance with my will. However, they are governed by my will to give what is beneficial for people, and my will also stops them where too bright a light might damage a person by dazzling his eyes and rendering him incapable of perception. My adversary, however, uses deceptive lights precisely because he wants to impair people's vision, because he wants people's eyes become entirely incapable of recognizing the soft light coming from me, which has a beneficial effect and brightly and clearly shows the right path to me. Therefore he endeavors to let as many deceptive lights shine as possible in order to confuse people. He endeavors to lead people into a direction where they apparently can gain information, where the human being believes to get hold of knowledge and yet receives completely misleading spiritual values. My adversary has many such means which he uses to cause ever greater mental confusion in people. He often ignites such glaring deceptive lights that people will be engulfed by darkest night if they have looked into this light for a long time, since it will not provide them with permanent enlightenment but suddenly return them into total darkness again. And countless dark forces are supporting him by participating and appearing as supposed beings of light. By prompting people to establish the above mentioned links with the spiritual world by way of improper thought transferences which either flatter people or promise them advantages, so that they will follow these thoughts and thus enter a region which is governed by dark powers. Just the intention of wanting to acquire knowledge without turning to the right source can lure people into a dangerous region from which they can only save themselves again with great difficulty. The will to step out of the ordinary, to experience the extraordinary and wanting to excel with exceptional knowledge leads people into this dangerous position where dark forces overpower him and thus dazzle his vision and in view of the end there is an increased risk, for the universe is full of poison spitting spirits which are loyal vassals to my adversary in order to corrupt people. His influence is powerful because the human being does not resist him, but he could become master over him by just entrusting himself to me myself in Jesus Christ, who had defeated him through my crucifixion. But instead of calling upon me the human being calls upon other powers in the universe, and he will indeed be heard by these powers and helped, frequently in a way which brings ever greater darkness instead of brightness. He moves increasingly further away from the truth, he allows himself to be captivated by delusions, by illusions brought into being by my adversary. 
he offers immature spirits the opportunity to express themselves and accepts their information as pure truth. He is most dreadfully deceived by my adversary and always believes himself to be enlightened. But he will not accept the truth which consists of the fact that my word cannot fade away, that it will come to pass and that my word has announced an end ever since the beginning of this era. And this end will come and no one will be able to stop it, and anyone seeking protection will only find it with me, yet a person will call for help in vain if he turns to powers which promise him protection but are unable to provide it. For these powers only aim to corrupt you, to withhold the truth from you and not to let you find the light, and if you listen to them you will then also go astray and remain in their power for an infinitely long time. Amen.